Hey guys, little safety tip here. Uh, when using a grinder to cut rebar, you really need to make uh, make sure where your sparks are going because things could, you know, they get they get pretty hot. Things could light on fire, like pants. <laughs> yeah. So I was grinding. I smelled smoke. I looked down, and my crotch is on fire. So today uh, we're starting the footings for the, uh, or starting the, the uh, forming up for the pads for the, um, for the barn. Uh, basically, uh, this this piping here is going to be the inside wall of. So one of the C cans is going to sit this way on it, uh, and then there's going to be 30 feet of space, and then another pad poured uh, for the the shipping containers. So the pads are going to be about 40 feet long. Uh, about eight feet wide, separated by about 30 feet. And then th once the roof and everything's on that, inside 30 feet will also have uh, concrete and in-floor heating, uh, or in-floor PEX pipe to hook up to our outdoor uh, or outdoor furnace. Uh, it's not really the best day to be doing this. The ground's a little bit hard, it's kind of freezing, but we're really pushing temperatures here. So we're, I'm really trying to get this in and the, and the shipping containers in place before uh, before the winter hits. So somewhere along the way with uh, my new phone purchase, uh, I seem to have lost the video footage of the forms um, being installed and uh, the walkthrough of them. So just quickly uh, before the concrete gets poured here, um, you can see the two footings or the two forms on both sides uh, of us standing there. Uh, they're both about eight feet long, 40 feet or 40 feet long, eight feet wide. Uh, and if you look closely, you can actually see the rebar. Um, so there's two two runs of rebar all the way around, all four sides of each form, uh, 15 mil rebar. Um, the pink um, standoffs that you see there is just a little bit of scrap foam board that I had. Um, so, and there, we just decided to go eight inches all uh, all the way through the pad instead of instead of just thickening. So I'm going to speed up the video here, kind of a time lapse, and you can see the process of the concrete being put in. Uh, we had about 14 uh, meters of concrete, 14 cubic meters of concrete. done. Uh, we had a small problem in the corner here. Uh, a little bit of a blowout but we caught it in time so I was able to, we missed a stake here so I was able to catch that. Uh, just have a rough finish. 
Um, not too worried about it. This is all hidden under the shipping containers, so um, we, we weren't worried about floating it or, or anything like that. So. Mm -hmm.